Foreign Minister Takayaki Matsumoto visited Bali, the Republic of Indonesia, from July 20th to 23rd, 2011, to attend the ASEAN related ministers' meetings. During the visit, Minister Matsumoto attended six ASEAN related ministers' meetings and a trilateral Japan US Republic of Korea ministerial meeting, as well as bilateral meetings with eight other foreign ministers. Minister Matsumoto first attended the 12th ASEAN Plus Three Foreign Ministers Meeting held on July 21st. The ASEAN Plus Three Foreign Ministers Meeting has been held since 2000 among the 10 ASEAN countries plus Japan, the People's Republic of China, and the Republic of Korea, with the aim of discussing cooperation in the fields of finance, food, and disaster management in particular. As well as main regional and international issues. At the outset of the meeting, Minister Matsumoto expressed gratitude for the abundance of support provided by ASEAN countries, the People's Republic of China, and the Republic of Korea following the Great East Japan earthquake. He went on to voice Japan's determination to recover from the disaster and achieve rebirth. Minister Matsumoto stated that ASEAN Plus Three cooperation had grown into a framework for practical regional cooperation, emphasizing the importance of the ASEAN centered regional cooperation and of support for ASEAN integration and development for the purpose of further nurturing the stability and economic growth of East Asia. Specifically, he emphasized the importance of disaster management cooperation. The building of an emergency rice reserve system, and the Chiang Mai Initiative, among other efforts for financial cooperation. Minister Matsumoto then attended the ASEAN Japan Foreign Ministers Meeting. The ASEAN Japan Foreign Ministers Meeting, co chaired by Japan and a coordinator country on the ASEAN side, is a forum where participants discuss a wide range of issues, including Japan ASEAN cooperation. Important regional and international affairs, and other matters. At the outset of the meeting, Minister Matsumoto stated In the joint communique announced following the ASEAN Foreign Ministers' meeting, held the day before yesterday, the foreign ministers showed renewed solidarity with disaster stricken Japan. I would like to thank you for your words of encouragement in our reconstruction efforts. I would also like to thank you for highly appreciating Japan's various forms of cooperation with ASEAN, including assistance in strengthening connectivity. Minister Matsumoto briefed the meeting on progress and efforts for closer regional cooperation in the area of disaster management that was proposed by Japan during the special Japan ASEAN ministerial meeting held on April 9th after the disaster in Jakarta, the Republic of Indonesia. And Japan's policy to assist the enhancement of ASEAN connectivity that will be key to founding the ASEAN community. In the afternoon of the 21st, Minister Matsumoto attended the fourth Mekong Japan Foreign Ministers Meeting. The Mekong Japan Foreign Ministers Meeting was first held in January 2008 to discuss regional cooperation among Japan and the five Mekong region countries. The meeting has been held every year since 2010 in conjunction with the ASEAN related foreign ministers' meetings. Minister Matsumoto briefed the meeting on Japan's efforts and progress in cooperation between Japan and the Mekong region countries. As important challenges for the Japan Mekong cooperation in the future, Minister Matsumoto singled out environmental issues and climate change, promotion of investment through collaboration between the public and private sectors. And cooperation to overcome vulnerability, among other things. The following day, on the 22nd, Minister Matsumoto attended the East Asia Summit, EAS, Foreign Ministers Consultation.
The East Asia Summit, EAS, Foreign Ministers' Consultation, is a meeting held among foreign ministers of member countries to facilitate discussions on the future direction of regional cooperation, including security in East Asia and regional and international affairs, as part of preparations for the East Asia Summit, EAS. Member countries attending the EAS and EAS Foreign Ministers' Consultation have been Japan, the People's Republic of China, the Republic of Korea, the ten ASEAN countries, India, Australia, and New Zealand. And the U.S. and Russia joined as member states this year. Regarding the future direction of the EAS, Minister Matsumoto emphasized the need for developing cooperation in five priority areas and strengthening engagement in the political and security areas, taking advantage of the participation of the U.S. and Russia. He also spoke of the need to nurture and develop the EAS as a leaders-led forum to confirm and fortify a common vision and rules of the region and making it lead to specific cooperation. Furthermore, he made a point of enhancing cooperation in various areas, such as maritime security, non-proliferation and disaster management. The following day, on the 23rd, Minister Matsumoto attended the 18th ASEAN Regional Forum ARF, ministerial meeting. The ASEAN Regional Forum ARF ministerial meeting was first held in 1994 based on the need for building a framework for the security in the Asia-Pacific region after the Cold War. The meeting aims to enhance the security environment of the region through dialogue and cooperation on political and security issues. As the significant outcome of the meeting, the participating ministers exchanged views in a candid manner mainly on nuclear issues including the uranium enrichment program of North Korea and the South China Sea. Minister Matsumoto spoke of the need for progress in North-South relations and the need for North Korea to make specific moves before the resumption of six-party talks. He also clearly demanded positive actions from North Korea to resolve the abduction issue. Furthermore, he reiterated Japan's position on the issues of the South China Sea and Myanmar. Minister Matsumoto also attended the Friends of the Lower Mekong Ministerial Meeting, one of the ASEAN-related ministers' meetings, which was hosted by the U.S. for the first time. During the stay in Bali, Minister Matsumoto held a Japan-U.S. Republic of Korea ministerial meeting and bilateral talks with foreign ministers of eight other countries. At the Japan-U.S. Republic of Korea ministerial meeting, the three ministers exchanged views on the North Korean issue and regional and global issues. Regarding the North Korean issue, Minister Matsumoto welcomed the inter-Korean dialogue on July 22nd and expressed continued support for the process toward resumption of six-party talks. Beginning with progress of inter-Korean dialogue, followed by U.S.-North Korea dialogue and Japan-North Korea dialogue. The minister also stated the necessity for urging North Korea to take concrete actions. Regarding the abduction issue, the U.S. Secretary of State Clinton stated that the U.S. would never forget about the issue and that the U.S. would like to cooperate in moving this issue forward. Minister Matsumoto expressed his gratitude for the understanding and cooperation by the U.S. and the Republic of Korea on this issue to date and stated that Japan would like to work in close coordination with the two countries to move toward resolving the issue. At the Japan-U.S. Foreign Ministers' Meeting, the two ministers first touched upon Japan's victory in the final of the Women's World Cup Soccer Championship, then moved on to discuss Japan-U.S. relations and global issues, among other matters. At the Japan-Republic of Korea Foreign Ministers' Meeting, the two ministers held discussions on bilateral relations, including the Takashima issue, and cooperation in resolving North Korean issues, including the abduction issue. Minister Matsumoto also held meetings with the foreign ministers of Australia, the Republic of the Philippines, the Republic of Indonesia, Canada, the Socialist Republic of Vietnam, 
and Mongolia, where the minister exchanged views on bilateral relations, regional affairs, and international affairs, among other issues. On the final day of the visit to Bali, Minister Matsumoto stated the following at the press conference with Japanese reporters. ま、Minister Matsumoto also pointed out that the ASEAN region was becoming the center of global issues in terms of political, security, and economic aspects. The minister then referred to Japan's long and deep relationship with Southeast Asian countries and mentioned the importance of Japan's continued cooperation and role in solving various issues. Then the minister headed home.